Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And now I'm going to watch Jojo Senki, or in English it's called uh, The Saga of Hanya the Evil, episode 1. So let's check it out. Yeah, I ever heard of uh, this anime's title, but I really don't know about uh, the story or the summary. I only know that this anime is uh, an isekai anime. And people are at war. And maybe this is what World War Two. <sighs> so many people die in this war. Okay, all of the soldiers uh, got injuries, okay, even some of them already dead. A mage? Okay, so this is not uh, World War II then. Okay, some of soldiers can fly. Okay, look at that explosion. I think she just put some kind of uh, magic power to the gun. The commander is a kid. <laughs> I think this is the intro of the anime. Year nineteen twenty four. So this is in the past.
in the general is so pissed off. <laughs> The Rhine Theater is this area and when the soldiers uh, are killing each other okay, at the beginning of this episode. Yeah, of course these kids got advantage because they can fly and they are shooting from the sky. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely got the upper hand in this war. Okay, Tanya is so fierce, even though she's still uh, very young. It's, it's not a thunder, maybe it's another explosion. So she's sending these soldiers. Back to their home. <laughs> Which is very stern <laughs> and fierce. The and she's about to draw her sword. And also, I think the names <laughs> in this anime they are a bit hard to uh, to pronounce. I 
maybe the characters are European. And she's flying with uh, Tanya again. Oh my god, there's so many casualties. What is that type? 95? Yeah, I still don't know what's the intention of Tanya when uh, she stopped some soldiers uh, from entering the battlefield. Okay, I'm confused. Uh, it's actually she uh, looked down on the soldiers, or maybe she doesn't want to put the soldiers in danger. Okay, maybe she's a considerate person. And why the anime called Saga of Tanya the Evil? Okay, Tanya the Evil. So that means <laughs> Tanya is uh, an evil person. Okay, because I haven't seen any evil actions from her. Are these people riding horses? <laughs> or what creature are that? Okay, this army can use magic too.
oh, is this her spell again? And she always say that every time she's about to use the magic. Okay, of course, those are not horses. <laughs> it's just a flying drones. <laughs> Okay, she's avoiding all of the enemy's attack. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's a gory scene. Okay, she just cut off that guy's head. Tanya has no mercy. <laughs> now she's chasing these people. Yeah, but I must admit that the animation is very smooth and okay, it's very good. I think she managed to defeat all of the army. Oh, there are still three people that are still alive. And they are chasing her now. She's still a kid. Oh, it's just a hologram. Oh, okay, she was using a barrier to protect herself from that shoot. And what kind of magic is this? <laughs> oh, okay, she's delivering the magic uh, to the gun. I bet it's gonna be a huge explosion. And she just nuked these people! <laughs> Yeah, I think she's the best soldier. And she's a precious asset. <laughs>
How can she become so famous now? And the news about that she wiped out uh, so many people in the battlefield. What was that? Oh. Hey, I think I know those guys. And those guys uh, were volunteering themselves and now they are dead. She knows already. Okay, so she knows that uh, it's gonna happen and that's why she prevent those people uh, to volunteer themselves to the battlefield okay i think she got a reason why she prevent uh okay, this girl to uh enter the battlefield back then okay about the first episode of yojo senki okay what i can learn is okay, it's about uh war between uh, several countries or nations and also this kid which is Tanya okay, it's a very precious asset for uh, her nation I mean uh, she's a good strategist and she is uh, very powerful with her magic and okay, she can use her magic and deliver it to uh, her gun and then he nuke uh, the, the other soldiers from uh, from uh, another country. Okay, I thought it's only about a normal war between uh, some countries, but turns out uh, the war is uh, is not just a normal war because the soldiers can use magic too. Uh, even some of them uh, were riding uh, robotic horses and they can fly too, and also Tanya and her soldiers can fly too. But really, for me, the names uh, of the characters in this anime uh, are a bit hard to pronounce because maybe they are uh, Europeans or Russian names. Uh, but maybe after watching a few more episodes, I can start to memorize uh, the names in uh, this anime. But hey, it's very interesting uh, to use a kid, a little girl, as a soldier, as a lieutenant uh, uh, in the battlefield. But uh, truly, this little girl is so powerful and I wonder what's uh, her real identity, how come that uh, she can become uh, a very great strategist and also uh, she's so powerful and hey, I, I can say that she's clever too uh, at arranging strategy and also using magic power. Okay, so let's just see what will be happening in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also support me on Patreon. See you again on my next video. Thank you.